Thanks for resub. Quote me when ZFU won Uno Moss. How come sometimes they're cocos and sometimes they're chickens? I always call them cocos, but people that aren't picky about the name call them chickens. It's a matter of how, how much you care about the lore. The people who care about the lore and call them their proper name will say cocos, and the casuals who don't care just call them chickens. That's how you tell the difference between a casual and someone who really cares. Say casual with some more disgust. I'm just kidding. At least that's what I'll say. I strike you as someone who played the tuba in middle school. I can assure you I have never played any musical instrument. No, I have never played an ocarina either. Okay, starting as child with water medallion. So I'll get started now. Death on trail, uh, yeah, let me go in here first. Really? Yeah, I got the Mega Man music seed. 20's a bottle. That could be good. 40's jobby map. Uh, could be useful. 30 junk. 50 junk. 10 junk. Okay, so 20 bottle, 40 jobby map. Jabu map could be useful uh, just for knowing whether Jabu's MQ or not because it does make a big difference in how I need to approach it. MQ Jabu, I really want slingshot. Um, vanilla Jabu, I really don't care what I have. Although at 40, at 40 skulls, I'll probably know anyway, but on the off chance that I don't know by that point, it could be useful. Ocarina 210. Oh my god, seriously. How did that even happen? Nice, Navi's a redead. Just gonna check this in and then go adult. Wow! Big one is lullaby. That is a big hint. And also an annoying hint. Or potentially an easy hint. You never know how it's gonna go. Okay, frog's bed. The okay, wasteland. Uh, go to valley, fairy fountain, storm is found bad. Spirit is bottom of the well. Okay, I probably want to check water first. Ganon's castle, MQ. Oh, there's fires. So as soon as I get hookshot, I can get that or hover to it, but I don't think hovering to fires would ever be worth it. Rando only always uses uh, version 1.0, so it has all the 1.0 stuff. Except for some 1.0 stuff, it intentionally patches out that sucks. Like uh, the graveyard graves being 1.0 is really bad. Also, 1.2 Firetelling music is better. People literally only like 1.0 music because it got cut. Choose, very nice. 1.0 graves. So on 1.0, when you enter these graves, it actually acts like a ledge that you can jump over or grab. And so it can be really annoying to try to actually get in the grave because you just c continuously jump over it. And so in 1.1 and past, they just make you slide into the graves. Shadow is shadow. MQ. Or I choose so much better than regular bombs. They're definitely not so much better, but they have their own unique uses. Choose. I mean, they can go up to 50 with no capacity upgrade. Uh, light arrows. Um, 480. Fantastic. Uh, choose can go up to 50 with no capacity upgrade. You can explode them immediately from shield dropping or slashing them. Uh, they can also explode immediately on, like, NPCs and actors and stuff. Weird Egg 385. Okay, so... Alright, so this is an expensive seed. Gonna need giant swallow no matter what. Uh, that was weird egg, so that's the child one. Right. Okay, you know what, actually, I think I will go in spirit, now that I think about it. I do actually want to, uh... Because it actually could be significant if it's... If it's MQ spirit, I can actually do some immediately. Hey, 
If Giant's Wallet costs more than 200 rupees, it's fine because um, there's three wallets, so there could be an extra wallet that I can still get. But I have had a seed where all three wallets were impossible. Luckily, there was nothing that required there was nothing that required over 99 rupees, but that was a potentially scary seed. But now in this seed, if I don't have a wallet, then I'm definitely screwed. Opponent's not okay. It was was worth coming in here early. Well, actually, I don't know for sure because I don't have Ocarina yet. Yeah, I checked skull rewards. Uh, the only real good one is 20 is a bottle. GTG Vanilla. How did that not block? It literally hit my shield and myself at the same time. Okay, Zora's Fountain has a boss. Don't know if it's, uh... I don't know if it's Jabu or Ice Cavern, but one of them has a boss. Countenance junk. Wallet. Okay, that's really good. Uh, yeah. Right now, that doesn't actually get me anything. Except, I guess, Medigoron. Really? Uh, I hope I'll have enough rupees. Cool, but now I need to go farm two rupees. I mean, at least I got Begoron's sword out of it. I should have got those rupees that came out of the rocks before I went in the grotto. Hookshot. Very good grotto. The hint was Crater, so that is the hinted hookshot. Unless there's a second hookshot here. Pink tunic. Yeah, I always seem to get some variation of pink or purple from my tunics. On the well, MQ? Yeah. On the well has magic, okay. Sometimes I like to do, uh, do, like, partial damage now and then kill him when I come back down the stairs. Oh, Spirit Key Ring is good. But I'm going into Spirit Temple, so it doesn't matter. Forest Vanilla? Vanilla, yeah. Two, two vanilla dungeons. Or like their entrances are vanilla. Forest is forest and shadow is shadow. Without a bottle, it's a bad idea to go past the first room, or at least to the main room. So, gonna leave here. Oh yeah, I have, I have scarce items on, although this seed uh, in particular, scarce items doesn't seem to be making that much of a difference, considering I got hookshot. Well, I guess it doesn't affect hookshot, but I got choose relatively quickly. Well, I guess it could still affect stuff like bow. Yeah, hookshot one gamba. Is that not paid out yet? Mods pay out. Oh. 140. Uh. Yeah. Alright. A uh, very early long shot. That also means I can go straight to Bomb of the Well, actually. I can Bomb of the Well as adult. I can go grab magic early. Deku's water. This is MQ. Boski's vanilla. Okay, so this check over here, I rarely ever get to do. Because it's in MQ water, it need, needs long shot. It's just like so out of the way. And it's a blue rupee.
No! <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do the Barsky skip, hold on. <laughs> Should I... <laughs> I'll go back and open the boss door. I meant to land inside the door frame and then <laughs> and then open it from inside the door frame, but I got pushed right in. VC crash my seed right now to repent. No. Okay, here. I'll I'll save and reset and I'll I'll go uh go back and open the boss door before going into blue warp. Don't open it. I must open it or I am a dirty cheater. All right, here we go. Open the door. Huh. Shadow Dalian. Vanilla. Semi-vanilla. Bomb the Well, uh, I don't know. Should I go to Bomb the Well or Rose River first? I guess Bomb the Well would be a longer detour to get back to. But yeah, I guess I should do that first. Oh wait, I don't have keys. Okay, there's actually one check that's behind a key door that I won't be able to get. So I guess hope that magic isn't that one check. I think there's eight checks in here and I can get seven of them. So pray for not the one in eight. Requiem, that's good. All right, so hope it's one of these two basement checks. Bottle. That's good, because I can at least play a song now. All right, so if this is not magic, then I need a bomb the well key for magic. Okay, safe. Uh, I guess I should play a song to warp out. It's probably, menu is probably best, yeah. I hope I can make it before the Reeds freeze me. Okay. Yep. Grab the shoes. Grab the shoes. Grab the shoes. Okay. Goma. Uh, do I want to make it daytime? Yeah, it's fine now. Why did I not equip a Goron Sword? Dude. It's because I didn't start the fight with the Goron. I just want to listen to music more. Uh, I already did do early, or er, I I went to the entrance of Shadow early. Yeah, uh, doing doing all of Shadow early. I probably I'm still busy checking my dungeons right now, but it probably is uh, a good idea to go to Shadow relatively early in the seat. I think because that told me Fire Temple had a dungeon, but I don't know where Fire is yet. KD. Beans. That almost kind of makes me want to go back to Child first to plant beans, considering I have Requiem. But I don't have Prelude, and getting back to Temple of Time is going to be kind of slow. But probably not. Spirit is Deku MQ. Actually, if I got... It might be good to go get Fire Arrows, actually, now that I think about it, because Fire Arrows uh, will actually let me equip swap with my current inventory. Although, I won't be able to shoot them. Oh my god. Deku leads to DC. DC should be MQ, yeah. Yeah, it'd be neat if Jabu was after this. All the child dungeons in a chain. 
Nice arrows, nice. Well, maybe if you're an individual, stop posting the same thing as everyone else in chat, and maybe you won't be all referred to as one entity. No, you're not unique. You're all the same. You're all just say the same stuff. More fun. Actually, this is kind of annoying. Uh, I think I should save warp before I go in the blue warp. I think if I save warp, I should go to the beginning of DC. Because if I go in the warp, I'll be transported out of Deku Tree, and then I have to go back to DC a third time, which is bad. Uh, QPA can do the most damage of any weapon to Iron Knuckles, but no other enemy. To Iron Knuckles, uh, it does 10 damage. I wish it were nighttime. Uh, I can probably boomerang. That's really good. Imagine GTG's Baronade. And then I can't beat it because I don't have Din, so I can't equip swap it. But then I can actually go get Fire Arrows, and then Fire Arrows will let me equip swap. Oh, but it's Jabu. Close. In fact, I almost wonder if it'd be worth it to go get Fire Arrows right now. You know what? I think it actually is. I think I should actually, uh... Yeah, I'll come back here soon. Then it needs to be Din's in order to equip swap. That was the worst Mega Flip attempt of all time. Well, alright, that's super good. That is probably worth going on my way forward to go buy the stuff that I need. Like, uh, Ocarina. I can get Ocarina, Egg, Light Arrows. Although Light Arrows I can put off. Hey, Gans Castle's Ice Cavern. Uh, I've now checked all the dungeons. Well, I've checked all the dungeon entrances, uh, but I need to go back to Jabu, because I haven't checked the end of Jabu yet, which actually I probably should have early, earlier. No, right now I cannot equip Sub Boomerang because I have, I forgot to mark that I have Zelda's letter. Oh, I never got, I was supposed to get boom, uh, Bunny Hood, I mean. But no, right now I am not able to equip Swap it. And save beforehand instead of after in case I need to reset here and I save an extra chew. Yep, I save an extra chew. Nice. Okay, job blue to Twin Roba. Oh, I do have to be careful. I need to make sure I put my fish back in my real bottle. Curious Sword's nice. I guess that might mean I should do Child soon. Although I think. I think I should do dungeons. I think I should do... Uh, I'm torn between if I want to do child or dungeons right now. Can't do boat skip. I need hover boots. If I get hover boots, then I can do boat skip. If I get hover boots, but no lullaby, no four rose wind, then I finally have an excuse to do uh, the boat hover. I think I should just go to shadow. Uh, or here, I can go to GTG on the way. So the dungeons plus bosses I haven't found yet are Phantom Ganon, Baronade, Vlogia, and Fire Temple. Okay, so Fire must be behind Forest Shadow or Spirit Boss Door, and then the three bosses can be behind any four of those boss doors, but Fire can only be behind three of them. Obviously, Fire can be behind Fire Boss Door. Frog, all right, there's my key to Lullaby. And Thieves had a key ring. That's nice. Okay, do I want to go to Shadow or Spirit first? Spirit is like closer, but Spirit, I might end up going to Colossus afterwards. Well, no, because I have Requiem anyway, so there would be no point. Oh, wait, I should probably get Lullaby first. Actually, yeah, I should get Lullaby before either of them. Why am I, why am I going up here? <laughs> yeah, ZL is important in both, so I should get that first. There's Lullaby. Finally. You know, I just realized I've only- I haven't gotten bombs yet, and I've only gotten a single pack of chews. 
If it wasn't for that single pack of shoes, this run would actually be in extremely bad shape. Maybe go get bomb bag? I mean, I'd like to just go get bomb bag. I wish it were that simple. Tycoon wallet, nice. <laughs> nice. There's the boss key. Oh god, I forgot there's a new setup for this. And I forgot what it is. Uh, I think it's just... This check Okay, easy. Phantom Ganon, here we go. So this will be six. Um, and then I need to beat two of Baronade, Wobazi, Trinrova. Wait, what? Did I not jump slash? I jump slash with Master Sword, didn't I? Or wait, no. I think this means. Oh, there's the bow. Phantom Ganon gave the bow. Nice. Light Medallion. I think Forest should be my next priority. As much as I want to do Shadow right now. Because I think Shadow must be fire at this point. Yeah, because I know that. Bomb bag. Very nice. Yeah, I know that Forest has a boss, and I know that Fire has to be behind a boss door, so Fire has to be behind Shadow Boss Door at this point. Fire can't be after Forest because I got a compass that told me um, that Forest Temple has a boss. I mean, the pose are only going to take like two extra minutes, so I'll just. Oh, well, I got the boss key. I should beat the pose because regardless of what boss it is, regardless of whether it's Vivagia or Baronade, I can't beat it because. I can't equip swap boomerang even if it's baronade. So no matter what, I'm gonna have to come back. So I really should just uh, kill the pose. All right, so baronade or Vivagia. Vivagia, okay. So even with equip swap, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, does anyone know what really fun thing that means? So that means baronade must be the boss of fire temple. Fire temple is at the end of shadow temple. And I cannot currently equip swap uh, Boomerang as adult. So that means, if we assume that I do not easily get Din's Fire, I need to go all the way through Shadow as child, and then through Fire as child. I mean, I can probably just finish Fire as adult and then have child go back there. I wouldn't really have to do Fire as child, I would just have to go straight to the boss. But still, that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to most likely go through Shadow as child. Oh, never mind. Speaking of dins, all right, never mind. Easy seed, baby seed. Yeah, there's my there's my problem solved. All right, so now it's just a matter of uh, hammer or mirror shield. Hammer or mirror shield, mirror shield puts me in go mode. Okay, so now I go to shadow, finish shadow and fire consecutively. Hopefully, I find one of hammer or mirror shield on the way. If I don't, I'll at least get to baronade and beat baronade, and then it's just a matter of finding. Uh, Hammer or mirror, and then at that point, I probably go child and just clean up child. Light arrows. I guess I should buy egg too. Okay, reset. If this is bad. Uh. Dude, I I have to save scum this. <laughs> well, okay, it's not I have to save scum it. It's it is not a good idea for me to keep it and lose my key because Ferro's Wind is very nice to have, but it is not required, especially because I have Lullaby. But I need my keys to check the rest of Shadow. Skull. Oh, mirror shield. Okay, go mode. Or I think go mode should be. I'll I'll click go mode once I actually get uh, Ganon boss key. But this should be go mode. So I should be able to go straight to the end of shadow. It'll take me to fire. I just need to beat fire as quickly as possible. So only look for the boss key. Oh, okay. That 
could be a problem. Okay, so I have three fire keys. Three fire keys gets me most of Fire Temple, but not all of Fire Temple. So, uh, I have to hope that the fire boss key is in the 75% of fire that I can do. Wait, I didn't get the boss key yet, did I? Am I stupid? I didn't get the shadow boss key yet. Why did I just think that... Why did I just think that I could go to the boss door? Well, actually, wait, it could be the Skulltula. I should check it right now. I just, for some reason, I was in I was in mirror shield mode and just thought, oh, I found mirror shield, therefore I'm in go mode. I don't need to worry about boss keys. No, I didn't miss the Skulltula earlier. I checked it. It was a stick. I just didn't grab it, and so the Skulltula came back. Yeah, if only I could set for us when to get back to the boss door quickly. That sure would be nice. Very cool. Could you beat SM64 with Link? Uh, with a lot of hovering, probably. Actually, I know it can't be the next room, because that room has Iron Boots, so this must be the boss key. Yeah, okay, cool. It was the literal last check. Uh, save warp, I guess. Or wait, no, I can actually go this way. I can go the vanilla way. Oh wait, no, that I need another key to get out of here. Oh well. Uh, I do need a save warp. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Hold on, this actually could be a funny situation. I don't know if fire is MQ or vanilla. And if it's MQ, I need a hammer to do most of fire MQ. Uh, unless I do a void warp. And the void warp needs Furrow's Wind, and the Furrow's Wind needs a key, and I just lost my last key because I didn't think I need to care about my keys anymore. Or wait, do I? Here, let me check. I might know. Fire is normal. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're good. Uh, yeah, there there have been a few seeds I have to like sort of make something up. There are a few. There have been a few examples where um, after I finished a seed, I had an idea for something that would have made the seed much easier or much faster, and found it afterwards. Like uh, there was one seed where I needed forest key ring and I had to spend a really long time because it was forest master quest and forest had light arrows and so I had to spend a long time finding forest key ring uh, after the seed I thought okay wait can I just void warp into forest and skip the key and it was kind of a complicated void warp but I did actually find a way to void warp into MQ forest without needing a small key and I unfortunately I haven't had to use it since I found it but Maybe one day. I actually should be in go mode. Well, I'm in go mode if I can find the fire boss key. The problem is I only have three fire keys and I need at least four to check everything in fire temple. So, well, that actually sucks. I know that might seem good, but that is not actually good. Uh, or it might be? Okay, now it's actually good. Now I am perfectly fine. Now I'm in guaranteed go mode. <laughs> well, that solves all my issues. Yeah, Toxic Oxygen, I was just thinking that. I was just thinking, okay, I can actually probably do Din's Actor Glitch and get that key. Um, But then I got a second fire key and it doesn't matter now. There's the boss key. Alright, so even without key issues, would have been fine. Alright, so this must be Baronade. How does equip swap work? Uh, so you hover the cursor over the item you want to equip, and then you uh, move to you move to the left or right page of the item menu, and then go back to it. And then uh, on the first possible frame, you press up left or up right, depending on what direction you're coming from, and a C button. And it will equip the item you were last hovering over, over the first item slot that the cursor moves to. So in that case, the item I was hovering over was Boomerang. 
The first slot that the cursor was moving to from the item screen was Din's Fire. And so the boomerang got equipped over Din's Fire. And the game sees Din's Fire as perfectly fine to equip as adult, and so it has no problem equipping boomerang. Pull the good idea of chat's average age. Actually, we did do that recently, and chat's average age is actually, like, not Zoomers. It's a bunch of, like, 25 to 30 year old people. So actually, it's Boomers that are hip with the kids. There's actually very few kids here. The children don't like me. I'm not hip with the kids. Alright, there's Ganonboski. Oh, I never marked... Shadow and Spear Bosky or Fire Bosky. <laughs> I got literally every Bosky and I didn't mark half of them. Ganondorf's just a, a mini game now. All right, that was a cool seed. A cool, basically no child seed. 345, 45, 55. All right, yeah, let's go look at the spoiler log. All right, uh, first thing I want to see where hover boots are. Gerudo training ground eye statue chest. <laughs> That's so annoying. That was the one check in GTG that I couldn't do. I, well, I, mean, I could technically have done it with an annoying QPA, but Essentially, I didn't want to do it. And then by the time I got bow, it wasn't worth going back. What else do I need to check? Oh, yeah, hammer. Go to training grounds near scarecrow chest. What? That's also... Or wait. Is that... No, that one I just... Okay, that one I just... That's a simple check. I can't believe it for... Okay, that... The hammer one I just missed completely. Okay, in my defense, I was preoccupied... Okay, so like... The way that I route GTG, I usually do the statue room and then the room to the side with the chest. And so I was thinking, okay, I go into the statue room, I see that I can't do the statue. So my brain says, okay, turn around, I can't do the statue, so I can't do my normal route. And I just forgot that, oh wait, I can actually still get the chest over there. But it's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't think it would have actually saved because I found Mirror Shield relatively soon after that anyway. Isn't the door barred? Wait, is the door barred? I forgot if the door is barred and... Mass wait, is it? It is part. Okay, so yeah. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, I couldn't do it. Unless I got bow unless I came back with bow. Or I did the QPA, but the QPA is so dumb. Anyway, I think uh I'm done for now. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye forever. Until next time.